Sounds great. Thanks, Felicia. Hi, my name is Anna, and I am a project designer with Michaels. And today we are making this. Oh no, my tape is stuck to my book here. Today we are making um, this super cute shark keychain or a backpack tag or whatever you want to call it. So for this, to go through the supplies real quick before we switch down to my hands, um, we have this uh, kit that comes in already in my part. So here is, oh no, am I frozen? Where am I? Okay, there we are. Um, it's this, the, it's the blue camp kit. Each week has its own little color kit. So the blue camp kit, here's the packaging. And from the kit, we will just need a few things. We need the beads. I hey, have Anna. my counted out on the on my table. Yeah, hey, Anna, I'm gonna go ahead and put you on the yes, your hands because it's frozen from your other view. Perfect. Just the box is easy to see it. Yeah, up front, but hands are perfect. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, so you're, you're gonna need from your kit, you're going to need um uh, your putting the beads, the little beads, um, and one of these hook. There's three of them in there, but you just need one. You need 21 of the light blue beads, you need 49 of the dark blue beads, and one black of the tube cording, this blue cording, you're gonna need to measure out 60 inches. And cut it. So I have 60 inches already cut, or and then you'll need one of these hooks. They're packaged with the beads. And you'll need your scissors that are included in the kit. The one thing that's not included in the kit that I think is helpful is a toothpick. There'll be some times when some of these beads are going to get kind of tight to shove the you need to kind of help shove the cord through. It's a nice tool to have just in case you want to run and grab that. But don't run back with this in your hand. Be careful. Um, if you don't have one or don't um, don't worry about it, we can't. So as you are measuring out your tubing, remember 60 inches in the in this tube. So go ahead and measure 60 inches and cut it. I just got a little bit of a head start. And you don't have to count these out exactly. The beads you can just pour some out on your on your working space. If that's if or in a bowl, if that's helpful, I just counted mine out because I was making our sample one um, earlier and just wanted to make sure we had everything together. I had everything together. Now, if you don't have this kit, you can use um, the the plastic cording is better because it kind of helps keep everything stiff. But if you have yarn or something else that works too, it's going to be a little bit difficult. You need a plastic needle um, to 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 work the the beads through. So it will be a little bit more challenging, but it is doable. And pony beads. Pony beads are beads like, kind of like the, they're very similar to these. They're just a little bit, a little bit bigger. So I just have a set here to show. And um, I will give you guys a few seconds to get your cording all measured out. And I'm gonna keep our shark right here. Oh, I'm sorry. The other thing that's extremely helpful is in the book that comes with your kit is a diagram. This is a map on what we're doing. I'm gonna follow this map very carefully because this shark is not something easily done by memory. So on in this book, it'll show you exactly how you wanna work your, your beads to get your shark. Cool? So I'm on page seven of my book. I'm gonna grab a drink while I'm right here. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that quick little break. I may have to do that one or two more times. Um, and we can go ahead and get started. So the first, we actually, we're going to work from the, the, the fins, the back fins up. Okay. So you're going to take your cording. As it shows in the, and we're, we're going to start because one is all of your supplies. We're going to start with diagram two. And we're going to put four beads on our cord. One, two, three, four. I'm going to put the both ends together and just slide them to the middle. So I have them in the middle. And I find it easiest to kind of lay them out the way the picture is. And so I can do the cords easier. So the cord has one in the middle. It's got two 
on top. So I'm going to take the cord. It doesn't have this this one bead that's kind of free. Um, and I'm going to take that one end, and I'm going to go through those two beads, the middle the middle two beads, from right to left. And sometimes I have to do one and then the other, especially till the cord starts to flatten a little bit. And then I'm going to pull through and tighten that up. So I have this three here. I still have this one loose guy. And then I'm going to fold it kind of up. See how I'm kind of folding it up? I'm going to bring it up a little bit higher. Whoops, lost my hand here. So I have it. I have the three. I'm going to bring, I'm going to fold this one over. So then it matches my diagram. So I have this cord I'm going to put to the side because this is the one I want to bring back through. So we're kind of doing a, a, a crisscross opposite ways of each cord to kind of go through the beads to build our to build our shark. I will say this is not the easiest project. So if you're having a little bit of a hard time, just raise your hand, ask some questions, and I'm happy to backtrack as much as I can. I'm gonna put this against the white a little bit so it's kind of a little bit easier to see, but I know it's kind of far, so I've got a couple things going here. So I have this right here, which matches. Diagram two, okay. Now we're going to move to diagram three. Now this is gonna get a little bit tricky. So I'm gonna go as slow as I possibly can. And before you do that, I just wanna um, let everyone know that I am aware that her connection is not that well. So um, unfortunately, but please just try your best if you can to bear with us. Um, and Anna, while you're there, can you go back and repeat how many beads that you've been using? Yes. I'm sorry. I didn't realize my connection was not so good. On my end, it looks great. So um, so thank you for that. I have, um, I started with four beads. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and backtrack. I'm, let me go ahead and unravel. Just take a second because getting started can be a little bit tricky, a little bit difficult. So what I did, and I'm actually, I'm going to back this up and do this a little bit easier, okay? We're going to start with one bead, start with one bead. So if you've already started and you're having trouble, go ahead and unravel and let's do one bead. Move it to the middle. And the way I found the middle was I put my ends together and just slid it back to get to my one, okay? On one cord, doesn't matter which one. I'm going to add two beads. Okay, so now there's three on here, but I'm going to take those two. I'm going to fold them over the one and I'll move that cord over there so I can see what I'm, I'm working on. So I can kind of, you can see here, I have kind of a triangle. I'm going to take the other cord, the one that didn't slide those two beads on, the opposite cord, and I'm going to go through the other side, through both of those beads. So I have a little triangle of three beads, okay? Now I'm gonna add that fourth bead, just to either side, doesn't matter. I'm gonna slide it up, but I'm gonna do the same kind of idea. I'm gonna slide it on, I'm gonna fold it over so it's in the middle of those two beads. I'm gonna take the cord I did not thread that on and go the opposite direction. to get my triangle. Now this this video will be posted, is that correct, Felicia? Yes, it'll be posted on our YouTube channel uh, probably by tomorrow. And while I have you, they're asking, how long is your string? 60 inches. Sixty inches. I'm gonna pause for a minute, make sure everyone's with us. Got a little bit away from the middle, so I'm just going to slide it around a little bit just to try to get it back in the middle. But it's not the worst thing if you're a little off from the middle because you will have some. There's you don't actually need the full 60 inches; you just need about 50. So you have a you'll have a little bit of slack, but that is definitely helpful at the end. Okay, so here's my little triangle.
Okay. So now we're going to go diagram three. And this one's a little bit tricky. We actually do need to slide on six speeds. Doesn't matter what side at this point. Three of the dark blue. Or if you're doing this with other beads, you can do whatever color you want. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of in in in, in the third one you can see there's a whole bunch of loop de loops in those beads. Okay. So what we're going to do is like just like we did before, we're going to work. We're going to fold that last bead over. So we have that little triangle, that little three triangle with the with the next two beads. And we're going to, with the same cord, this time we're not working with both cords, we're just working with one side of the cord, one cord. And we're gonna slide it through those two beads. And then kind of help move it over a little bit since I uh, got a little bit off there. Okay, so I have this little triangle with these three beads just kind of floating in between. Okay, now I'm gonna fold it over these two again, the next two beads. And I'm going to take my cord and go through those two. So I still have one that's kind of free in between the two the two dorsal fins at the end. I think they're dorsal fins. I don't know. I made that up. I know there's something that's a dorsal fin. If somebody knows sharks, correct me if I'm wrong. The two little end. So now that I have the two little ends. And this one right here stays free in the middle. So that's what it should look like right now. As we work, they will separate, okay? But right now they're kind of together. Hey, Anna, it's kind of, it's kind of cutting out again for us. Can you uh, tell us again exactly how long is the string? And then there's a question asking which string that you use to go between um, for the fourth bead on there. For this one right here? I do believe so, but if they put it in the chat. You're just going like this. So you both cords go through. Okay. So you want to do this? Did you say that string was? My watch is the bead. You did my watch is the bead. And you're going to do this with both cords. You're going to go through the bead with both cords. So they crisscross. And then you're going to tighten them up and that'll make that triangle. I do know this is not an easy project to... Um, to follow so just do the best you can and if you need to go back and watch this video or we have a pre-recorded on-demand video as well if you want to go you know back and watch it slowly that might be extremely helpful because like, like I said this is not the easiest project to follow there's a question if you could do step three again okay let me uh yes I, absolutely. Let me unravel. Just take me one second. So slide six. After you have your four, like your little diamond shape um, of, of beads with your first for your first fin, slide four on a cord. It really doesn't matter which side. Actually, going to switch it to the other side because it's long. For some reason, that side got a little bit longer, and it just makes me feel better. It does not matter which side it goes on. So now I have six beads on here. Okay, I have my try my little diamond, of, or I think that's what you call that little shape diamond, and then I have six loose beads on my cord. Okay, so the last bead I added on. Okay, so. Let me let me say this. This cord right here that's on the side of this diamond, we're not using right now. The one coming out of my right side. We're only going to use the cord on the left right now. Okay. So for these six beads, I need to take this last one I that I added and I want to fold it down, fold it over so it is in the middle of the next two beads. See how I did that? Now I'm going to take the same cord I'm working with on the left side. And I'm going to go through those two beads that, that I was putting that, that one in the middle of. Okay. okay. I'm going to go through both of those beads. If I can get that through there. There we go. Okay. So you got that on there. 
Now I'm gonna fold those neck, those the, these two that I had that one in the middle of over on top of the next two. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take that same cord and I'm gonna go through the next two. Maybe we can get it through. Yep, there we go. Okay, and what that's gonna do is make another little diamond shape. Okay, so this one loose bead right here kind of kind of plays on the spacing for this other one for the other fin. I'll tighten that up a little bit. When I say I'm tightening something up real quick, I'm just kind of pulling on these sides just to get it closer to this. So there's my two fins. Okay. So it'll be like, it'll actually be like this, add it back sideways. So looking at here, this is what I have going on. match number uh, step three okay now step four is probably one of the easiest ones we're going to go through okay so just pick a side doesn't matter which side put two dark blue beads on it just like that take the other side and crisscross just like i had mentioned with my watch see how that's just crisscross and I'm gonna pull tight. So it, goes, so it sits like right on top here, right on top of those fins. And then I'm gonna do three dark, blue, three more dark blue, and do the same thing. Three dark blue on one side. Get three. I'm gonna put this up, go the other direction with my other bead or my other cord. And I'm gonna pull tight. It'll start to take shape here as you as you're working, as you're adding more beads. Okay, the next row we're actually gonna do one light blue. And I am going to hang on just a second. Let me see. Make sure I'm putting this in the right order. So actually, I'm going to do three dark blue and a light blue. Three dark blue and a light blue. It helps when you have it laid out. <laughs> when you lay it out as you're putting it on, you have your cords kind of arranged that the, the right way. And then I'm going to take the other one through all four, the other side. And we're just kind of weaving these the cord through these beads. So if you want to see it, I got twisted there. See how it's kind of taking shape here. Okay, and I'm going to do three blue and three dark blue and two light blue. So just so you can see, this is kind of what how I'm looking at it. So I go, okay, goes like that. Then I'm gonna take my other cord, go the opposite direction through. Okay. Let's see. Okay. See, it's starting to really start to come up, come up, come about with his little body. Okay. Now our next, let's see, we did two. We gotta do one more row just like this last one. Two dark blues and I'm sorry, three dark blues and two light blues. Two, three, one, 
to I'm going to slide them through again. Hey, Anna, once you finish that step, can you raise it up so that everyone can see? You got it. Uh-oh, that happens sometimes. I just pushed out my other cord. So when that happens, just work back the other direction. I am a professional crafter and see even professional crafters <laughs> have little mistakes as they go along. So do not worry. This was not the easiest project to figure out. Okay, now I'm going to just slide this down here, get myself unraveled here. Okay, slide that. Then I'm gonna bring it up. Here's, I don't know if this, I got this little napkin right here that might help put some white background. Let me separate that so you can kind of see what's happening here. Because we are unfortunately going into another little tricky part, similar to this fin here. We're gonna do another one here. I'm gonna do a little belly fin here. Hey, Anna, I was okay. kind of letting everyone know in the chat that of course this class is being recorded, but it may be best to just watch you first and then go back and try to do it along with the recording or with um, the on demand. Because yeah, this is that's a, little, a great idea. Because it's a little tricky and a lot of people are getting lost. So I would highly suggest definitely just kind of um, watch what she's doing so that you can go back and create it yourself. That's a great idea. Because this is a tricky project and to get it all in an hour, <laughs> it is a little tricky. Um, okay, so on, we're gonna go into diagram five. And as you can see here, I'm gonna bring this up a little closer here. We are going to do another kind of fin like we, we're gonna do it here to, to represent the, his top fin, his little top fin here. And we're also going to do a little one on this side. Okay, a lot going on in this. We're so sorry now, about that. I don't know why I'm going. Your, your connection is is kind of going in and out. Oh, we, okay. It said it was unstable, but now that's gone. So are we good now? Yes. Maybe? Yes. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm not sure with these internet connections and this heat. I'm not sure what's happening. I haven't had any trouble, of course, until now. Okay, so I'm gonna add five beads for the top fin on the on the top on the cord that's coming out of the left side, so it can be the top of his body. Okay, slide them down. Okay, so just like we did in step three, I'm gonna fold this one down. So it's even between the next three. Slide my cord through. I'm working on just the left with the, just the left cord. Then I'm going to fold this one up and over these two here. Now I'm going to do something a little bit tricky here. So just hold tight. I'm going to get through these two. Shove that through there. Got it. Okay, I'm going to tighten that up so I have the three. Okay. And when I say it's tricky, it's not really that tricky. It's actually pretty easy, but um, it's just another step that you don't really see. So I'm going to take this cord, same cord, and I'm going to go over this first bead and through the second one, closest to the body. So I can have my cord going the right direction to continue beading. Okay. So you see what I did there? Got a little. Um, I can get him to stay right here. And then it'll, as I keep beating, it'll, it'll help my 
dorsal fin or whatever this I keep saying dorsal fin because apparently it's the only fin I know um it's still it's still um hanging out where it needs to be okay it's laying on his back right now but as we add more beads he'll it'll go in the right spot okay um now what let's see through 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 okay so this guy's up okay so now we want to do this small fin with three beads. So we're going to add three beads to our cord. Dark blue. I'm still working dark blue. Slide it up to the to the body. And then same thing here. I'm going to flip these two up. I'm sorry, this one, this one down. So the two, the, the, the second two are on top. And I'll show you in just a second when I get this cord in there. I'll go, I'll go slow as I'm tightening it up. And it will create that little, okay. So as I'm tightening it up, you can see it's bringing that one into the middle of those two, okay? Now I do the same thing I did a little bit ago. So I'm gonna go through this one that's closest to the body. And I'm gonna try my best. See this right here is what I'm talking about. Sometimes you gotta, sometimes I, I toothpick is really a good tool to help get that get that cord through. Oh, there it is. So if you're struggling to get that cord through, grab a toothpick. It's awesome. Okay, and I'm going to try to keep this little cord right here that that goes over the bead to the back. Doesn't always help. Doesn't always happen, but sometimes I sometimes I nail it. Looks like I did it this time. Okay, so. Um, now we're going to add our next row, which is three dark blue and uh, two light blue. So the good news is, is you've gotten through most of the difficult parts. There's one more that's a little bit tricky. Again, the opening of his mouth. And that's our next row or our next step. Uh, it's our next step. Nope, it's a couple steps from now. Step nine. We are still on six here. We're getting this next row in. Now, when we get this next row, after we get in this, we go to seven. We're going to have to backtrack a little bit to those little fins that we just did because we're going to do another little slip through to help to help them stay where they're supposed to be, okay? So we have this here. This is what we look like right now, okay? So we want to, as we get into seven, what we just did, we're gonna go through the outside bead and up on both sides, okay? So we're gonna take the cord that's coming out the left, go through this outside bead. Now we've already gone through it a couple of times, so it's gonna be a little tight. So do the best you can and use a toothpick if you need to. So that was much easier than I expected. Okay, and we're gonna pull it. And again, I'm gonna try to keep this extra, this extra loop through to the back. Okay, and what that's do is gonna help hold our fin up. Now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay, I'm gonna go through that. Let's see, yep, go through the outside. And that one was pretty easy. And it's going to kind of flip flip up. Okay, so now then we we go to step eight, which is step eight. Four dark blue and three light blue. I'm going to go on this side because this is the side I've been working on each time. And I do not want to confuse you or myself on the order these guys go on. Because it is very easy to do in this project. Okay. So we have, and like I said, remember, just kind of lay it on here as you're doing this. It makes it so much easier to make sure that you are your beads are in the right order without having to undo everything that you've already just done. Okay. 
So we have our four. Now we're going to do uh, three and three, three dark blue, three light blue. One, two, three. One, two, three. Fold it over, make sure it's, yep. So our colors are right. Now we're gonna go, oh, need this other cord here to go through. So basically right now, Anna, you're just kind of repeating some of the same steps? Some of the same steps right now this, are the same repeat. Yes, it's just how many beads you put on. And uh, oh. But we're about to go into another step where we're doing a, like three at a time. We have to do a um, kind of like what we did in step eight, uh, step six with the three. And then we will finish it up e very, we finish it strong with some easy weaving. And then we tie on our cord. Okay, so here we go. That was step eight. We got our step eight on there. I'm gonna bring this up here so you can see where we are. So our fins are sticking out. Fins are sticking out. Our body's coming together. So now we need to add the little bottom part of his mouth that, where it's open right here. So we're on nine. I think I just may have frozen. There we go, got him frozen. Okay, well, I was saying a step nine, this little part right here with his note, with his mouth open. You can see here his mouth is open. And that's what we are going to do now. So we're going to add three be three light blue beads to the right side. Okay, so we want to we want to have our let's see. We want to fold our piece over and go up the two. So we have our little triangle. Turn it this way so it matches the way it's supposed to go. So we have a little triangle here, from nine. And then we're going to, let's see, we come out the top and we go back around just the one. So we go back around just this one, first one. This one's kind of tight. It's looser than I thought. Okay. Just trying to go back through the second one. Okay, so what we're doing here is hang on, let me let me think. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna undo this because I want to go through the back because I want that cord to show through the the back part. So I'm actually gonna go around this way. It actually may not even make a difference, but let me think. Hang on, hold tight. Let me think. This goes here. I just did this a few minutes ago and it was not too too difficult to think about. Okay, so I'm gonna go from the back though. Okay, so this is what I have here. I've got my three and I've got it underneath in the back side. And then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna flip it over just so it's easier for me to see. I'm gonna go through this first bead here closest to the body. And all I was trying to do was get this where it's gonna be on the outside of this bead to go on the back, okay? So I just flipped it back over. And don't worry about that gap right there, it will tighten up. All I have to do is, is, is pull these through a little bit more so I can tighten them up. Okay, let's see, this goes like that. Okay, there we go. So now we have his little mouth. I'm not sure why this isn't sticking up, but I think it will, I'm pretty sure, like, like all of these things, it will tighten up and everything will fall into place once the next row go in, okay? Um, because it's gonna pull this up here. I think I might need to tighten that again. Hang on, just one second, let me tighten up all of these cords I have going on here. Okay, so this cord needs to be tighter. It's this guy right here that's giving me a little bit of trouble. There we go. Now I'm tighter. Okay. Now we're good. Now we're good. Now we're good. Okay. So just when in doubt, just start kind of 
pulling on some cords to, that are around your bead to, to get them to lay where they're supposed to go. Okay, so I have that and that's nine. Hey, Anna. Yes. Can you repeat that step? And before you do that, um, I have this chat open so that we can discuss the project. I do see some outside conversations that are going on. Um, we're asking if you could please keep that to a minimum so that you won't distract any others that's in the class. Go ahead, Anna. Okay, sure. Let me take those three out so we can walk through that one more time. Because that was a little challenging and I actually struggled a little bit with that one too. Even though I just did this like 15 minutes ago and this is the third time I've done this, this little shark eye. So rest assured, it's not, it, it's not the easiest thing to do. Okay, so now I have three light blue on my right side. Okay, I'm gonna fold that one, the last bead over. So it is underneath those two. And I'm gonna go through those top two with that same cord. Okay, that's the easy part. So as I, before I start to see what, when I say I have that fold, let me get this guy back down here. I have it folded like that. Now I'm just sliding. Before I do anything else, I'm gonna tighten that up. Okay, so I have my three. Let's see, I have my three, like in nine. I'm not sure why it is. There we go. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back through. I'm gonna pull this, this cord here that's coming out of it behind. And I'm gonna go back through that first bead on the top. I say top, it's hard to say. It's just right here, this one right here. Again, follow your diagram. I'm going to use my toothpick because, like I said, getting tight up in there with all these cords coming through. I'm gonna, there we go. Okay. Tighten this up. It's all going to fall into place once I add the next row. Okay, so I have those, and then we have, um, hang on, these guys are kind of loosening up here. All right, so now we want to add three dark blues. Yes, I realized I grabbed four, didn't mean to do that. And one light blue. So we are now on 11. And we're gonna bring our, and now it's just the easy weaving back through. Okay. And then it wants me to, let's see. Okay, go to the next row, which is one dark blue one black for his eye, one light blue. And then bring the other one through the other side. Okay. Then next one is two dark blues and a light blue. And I'm gonna need to get another dark blue out. I either didn't count correctly or there's one, oh, nope. There's one tucked away way over here, found it, okay? And then pull that tight. Now we're gonna do one dark blue, one light blue. And finally, we're going to do a light blue at the top. Pull that tight. Okay. Math's a little bit of a weird, may have 
not tighten it up as much as I needed to here. Let's see if I can do that. I'm gonna go back through and just, so really to tighten these guys up, you just pull on those ends. A little bit more here. And just kind of tighten it up so it looks the way you want it to look. Okay, so we have his mouth open. And there we go. To, to close it up, take your hook, the little loop at the end, put it on one side. And then I like to do it on the back. I like to tie it on the back, but it's up to you. And I'm just going to do two overhand knots. Let me let me do that. Okay, so you have you have it here, then you're gonna crisscross. Okay, crisscross and, and I, I hold it right here, crisscross and hold. Reach through the loop and bring, bring the tail through, pull tight. Do that again, crisscross, reach through, pull tight. Now I like to try the best I can to weave these back through a couple of rows, just so it has further to travel because I don't want it to unravel. This one right here is really gonna get kind of tricky as we get that second one through. We'll try to get that second one through so we can. I'm gonna try my best to do it one more time at least. And the reason I'm doing this is I want this cord to have as much as hard a time as possible to get to that knot. You can add glue to your knot if you want to, if you have some um, child safe glue. The Kratology is an amazing glue. Strangely enough, it is a very, very good glue. And I'm gonna kind of weave it a little bit differently. And I'll do, okay, I went through and I went through this blue and then put down this blue instead of that light blue also. And I'm gonna do the light blue with the next one. And I'll show you what I mean. And get that guy through, there we go. Okay, so now this one right here, I'm gonna go through just this light blue one. Cause as you can see, as I'm doing this, it gets harder and harder to get multiple. especially since it's already been through there like at least twice. Come on, you gonna work for me? Okay, so I'm bringing out this blue bead, that light blue bead in the middle. Then I'm gonna go down to the next light blue row. If you ever do like bead work, like sea bead work as you get a little bit older or even if you're in, in doing some of the jewelry uh, classes that I teach, you'll see I do I do that kind of technique often, okay? And then I'm going to trim the ends. And there we go. Here is our shark keychain slash beaded uh, backpack um, pull slash whatever you want it to be. And I have two, they're friends. Hey, Anna, there's a question there. Um, I I think in step three, some people may have gotten confused. So okay. if, I, know, I know that you're already completed with that one, but just wondering how would you kind of re-explain step three? Okay, the best thing to do, I will pull, I'm gonna pull some of these other pony beads I have here. Just yes, gonna pull them out. I'm gonna try to stick with one color so it's the best. And I'm gonna stick with a color that's bright so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go with this purple because it jumped out first. You know what? Okay. I, there, was, there was another question that, that came through. So I'm not for sure what would be best. They were asking about the step one since we still have a, um, a few more minutes. So would you be able to do step one through step three? Okay, step one is just the supplies. Just a list of supplies. 
So there's no nothing to do with step one. Step two, let me grab some more cording here. Step two is when we start to do the beads. So yeah, I'll go through step one and two again. Absolutely, that's not a problem. I'm gonna use this purple just because I don't know if I have enough dark blue. So I'm gonna go purple, it's easier to see. And I have the amount of beads I need out. So that helps. Um, okay, so we're gonna start with on step two, on step two, okay? You're gonna you're gonna do this in the middle of your length, but I, my length is longer, and I don't want to lose this cord if I can avoid it. So I'm going to take one bead on and move it let's, to the middle. We'll pretend this is the middle of our cord, okay? And then I'm gonna add two more. So yes, I could have just done three. May have been easier, but so I have my first bead I put on, and honestly, it can be either one first or last. But for the sake of being consistent, we're going to say the first one we put on is our lone one. Okay, that's going to be this bottom corner, this bottom one here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold these two over the, the other two that I slid on, so it looks like this. Okay, so then the cord that those I just put those on. I'm going to move that out of the way, the, the side, the end. Okay. I'm going to take the other end, the other end here, and I'm going to slide it so they're crisscross, those two. Now, if I was had a third hand, <laughs> I could hold this up like this. I'll do, I'll do my best, okay? Um, where's the end? Okay. So right now, this is what you should be seeing. So as I tighten it, it will fall into this formation, okay? One at the bottom in between the two at the uh, above it. Okay, so now I need that, that last piece. I'm gonna add one more bead, doesn't matter which side, which cord side, because you're gonna do exactly the same thing as you're gonna fold this over and the reason I do this fold over thing to me, it's just easier to see it. Because then if you, if I move my fingers here and just hold the cord, then that's how, that's what I want. Okay. So this is the cord that I, that I um, strung that last one on. So I'm going to take the other side and go through the opposite direction. You know, when I get closer, I'm going to slow it down so you can see. So how they're crisscross on top. Now tighten it up. And I get this formation. So it's like a little diamond formation, okay? Can you see that? Maybe a brighter color, maybe yellow would have been better. Okay. If this helps at all. I'm gonna switch to yellow. I'm not gonna take these off because that's our first spin. To me, that's it's not the easiest, but it's definitely easier than what we we're about to go into. And I'm just going to do this yellow because I'm hoping it will stand out better. Maybe the orange. What do we think? You think orange will stand out better? Maybe. So I'm, I'm, I know I sw I'm switching on you. I'm just trying to get something that's going to make it easiest for you to see this. Okay. So the next one, we need six beads. Okay. So I'm going to count out these orange. Got six beads. I'm going to go ahead and slide all six on. And at this point, it does not matter which side because right now we're still... I'm going to call it ambidextrous. It's it's fine on both sides. Okay, so I've got because I'm left hand or right handed, it just naturally went to this side for me. Okay, so I've got six. Now this would be the same color, so just pretend I'm working on the same color. Okay, but I'm doing this so you can see a little bit easier what I'm working on. I hope. Okay, so we got the six beads on here. Now we're going to work from this last bead that we put on forward. Okay. So you're gonna take this one here and you're gonna fold it over just like we did on that first triangle. I'm gonna make another triangle because we're only working with these three beads here. We have these three loose ones on the, on the other end or in between what we're working with and the first triangle, okay? So we have this one here. We're gonna take that same cord 
at this point, we're only working with one side cord, not this one anymore for right now. And I'm going to go through those two that were on the top of the, that one end bead. Okay. So let me get a little bit closer up here and then I'll show you what. Okay. So this is what you should have. Now, I'm going to slide this down so it's in the right spot because you want this closer to these three beads over here. Okay. So this right here is what you should be seeing. Is this these three this little random three triangle here, three loose beads in your first triangle. Okay. So now I'm going to take these three beads here. I'm going to fold them over the next two. Okay. So working with that same cord on the left side, I slide it through those two beads I just mentioned. Okay. And again, I'm going to slow it down when I get a little bit closer up. So this right here, here is what you should be seeing. It's kind of let me go get a little bit closer. This is what you I haven't tightened it up yet, but this is what I mean. It did a little bit, but we should be seeing. So I'm, as I tighten it up, I now have my first fin. Here, let me do it. Let me do it the way I'm talking, left, left and right. Okay. So we've got our, the one we just added on this side, the one we started with, and then this one single loose bead in the middle, and that stays loose. Okay. So that is your step two and three. Now that technique is not the easiest thing to learn, okay? So, but you will need that for step six, seven, eight, and nine, and even, yeah, for those three steps, they are, it is a vital and important part to be able to add that, that little cluster. So I hope that helped. And really quick, if you yes. can do a quick explanation on how to tie the hook on, I think that'll be it. Okay. I'll, I mean, it's just a, um, see if I have another one. So it's just an overhand, just an overhand. Um, you want to slide on your hook on one side. I'm so sorry, it started to pause. Are we on? Are you still paused? It's still paused. Your hand is still paused that I can see. It's going now? a little bit better now. Okay. Okay, so I just, um, I, I'm gonna go on. I hopefully it's not paused anymore. I added a hook just to one side, didn't matter what side. Then I'm gonna crisscross and take one side and push it through the loop or reach through the loop and grab it. So you have just a, you know, just, and then pull tight. You're gonna do that again. You're gonna crisscross, reach in, pull through. And pull, so you have two knots. Now you can cut it there, but I like to make sure I don't, it's not that, you know, the cord has a while to, to get through. So I'm gonna weave it through some beads, just weave it through each side. Doesn't matter. You can do through both of them. You can through, like I did through, on one side I did through this one and this one, I went through, down and out. And on this side I went through, down and out. And trim my end on, on the sides. So what I mean by that is, <laughs> and it 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 paused again. So basically, um, okay. I'm I'm going to let you go ahead and just kind of close it out because some reason again okay. the connection is kind of bad. So I'm just going to let you go ahead and close it out, and then we're okay. just going to end the class. Okay, great. Thank you so much for um, for uh, crafting with me today and working on this shark. I know he's not the easiest project to master, but please go back through and watch this video uh, or the on-demand video. Honestly, I think this one might be easier to follow just because I had a little bit of a struggle on um, one part in the on-demand, but I think you can, you could, if, if this one is glitching out, then that definitely is a good one to, to go back and refer to. So thank you again. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on Friday for our next camp class. Thanks and have a great day.